Tooltips are helpful hints and instructions for signers to read when filling out your forms. They can help make it easier for your signers to select the correct answer or input the required information in the right format. Tooltips take the form of little pop-up boxes that appear above the fields as your signers hover over them. For example, here in this envelope, the signer has to select one check groups out of a group of 10 options, which is pretty confusing. But if none of the options apply, they need to select the first box on page 20. It's kind of confusing and that checkbox is pretty hard to find. So this tooltip clearly says that if none of these apply, then select the first checkbox on page 20 and a checkbox is here. This can help your signers complete forms without your assistance. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your tooltips in your forms. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi, ex DocuSign staff and founder of Solisan Consulting. We help companies grow by automating paperwork and systems so you can serve more customers better, faster, and with fewer resources. If you're interested in our help to grow your business, you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a call with one of our automation consultants. And if you're new to DocuSign, I strongly suggest that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will help you understand how to automate all your forms and documents. And all the links of the things I mentioned in the video, you can find them in the description just down below. Now let's go back to our tooltips. You can add tooltips to both envelopes and templates, but today I'm going to show you how to do this in a template. We're not going to get into template building from scratch here though, so if you haven't built a template before, they're just reusable envelopes that can help you speed up the documents and process. You can find the link to my tutorials on how to build templates in the description just down below. So once you're in your template or your envelope, you simply want to select the field where you want to add a tooltip and then look for the group tooltip option to the right in the property panel. Here you can enter your tooltip. Once you've added the text to your tooltip, you can click on preview if you want to see what the tooltip will look like for your signer. As I hover over this particular tooltip here, I can read that at least one type of owner must be selected, which is exactly the tooltip that I have written here. The limitations are that you can only enter up to 100 characters in your tooltip, and you can only have one tooltip per field or per field group. This means that for checkboxes and radio buttons, you can only have one one tooltip for the entire group. In other words, you can't say, okay, I'm going to display one tooltip for this option and one for this option and one for this option. That doesn't work. If you want to provide additional information that won't fit in your tooltip, then you can use the node field, which is somewhere around here. The node field can contain as much information as you want. You can ex expand this, um, but it will not leave any mark or text on the final document. Another reason that I like to use tooltips is that they hide data labels, which is great because data labels are very ugly and can be distracting for the signer. For example, here I've just added a group of radio buttons and this radio button group shows the data label as I hover over it. You can see radio group 98427 blah blah blah. Whereas if I hover over this radio button group, since I've added a tooltip, the data label I should say for this group of radio buttons doesn't show. And that's because there is a tooltip. And if you're wondering what are data labels, I'm glad you've asked. Data labels automatically generated unique identifiers that DocuSign assigns to all the fields you add to your documents. But it's always super important that you go to the data label or group label section here and rename them and give them a meaningful name. And this is important for three reasons. The first reason is that the data label will show during signing and the default field label is very ugly. And that can be distracting to your signers when they're completing the form. The second reason you'll want to rename your field labels is that fields that have the same data labels will automatically replicate the data entered in any of them. For example, if your forms ask for the same information such as the home address from your signers, they only have to enter it once and then the address will copy in all the fields where well, the address is requested as long as they have the similar labels. And finally, by renaming your field labels, you'll be able to extract the information you're collecting from your signers in your forms and synchronize that automatically into your other business tools, such as your database. For example, here, as you can see, I have the list of all the answers collected in the DocuSign forms automatically synchronized in my database. And the information wasn't copied pasted manually here from DocuSign into the software, but by using an integration that can be set up between DocuSign and any other backend systems. This helps automate data entry and automate workflow. But 
you need to have meaningful data labels if you want to accomplish that. And if you'd like our help to automate paperwork and manual systems, schedule a call with one of our automation consultants using the link just down below. Our services include databases, templates, and integration development to help you automate always more of your workflow. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.